everyone welcome or welcome back i hope you're doing well today we're going on a shopping trip to one of my favorite brands and it is jill sander but the shop is my closet the goal of this video is to use jill sander as inspiration to reinvent my wardrobe and for those who might not know jill sander is renowned for its minimal aesthetic clean lines and sophisticated elegance. The brand emphasizes high quality materials and timeless design. Think classic silhouettes, muted tones and a subtle play with textures and shapes as well. And Jill Sanders collections are a perfect example of how less can be more. So let's get into the first look. What attracts me the most about the brand is its play with color. I must admit that I don't know an awful lot about the brand, but I have looked at a lot of their collections. And what I can see is that earlier collections played with a lot of neutrals like black, white, beige and so on. And then Raf Simons, a Belgian designer, started designing for the brand and he brought a lot of bright colors to the brand without losing the very classical look. And I feel like the current design duo combines these two contrasts very well, combining more muted tones with very saturated colors. So I try to emulate that in this look with a pastel yellow sweater and then a very saturated red bag. And I combined it with these brown pants because I noticed that they use a lot of brown pieces in their collections. And I also think that's why I like how they combine colors. Because black sometimes can be a little bit harsh when you combine it with any color. It creates a little bit more contrast than when you pair any color with brown, I feel like. So this is a very dark brown, so it's still feels like it's black maybe from afar but it's a little bit softer and then I also combine it with these brown boots but in a lighter color so they still stand out. I also noticed that they often use their handbags as clutches. They do this in a runway but also in photographs and I feel like this is a smart way to use your handbag in a different way and make it look a little bit more fancier. So that's what I was trying to do, but mostly I will just wear it as it is. For the second look, I was inspired by the roots of the Jill Sander brand. The brand's foundation is built on creating timeless pieces with clean lines and high quality materials. And that's why I chose these wool trousers from COS. They are 100% wool and they are also a drawstring pants, so they are very relaxed. And then I wanted to combine it with a crisp shirt that is 100% cotton, but still feels modern because I recently altered it and made it a little bit shorter, so it's does come off very classical but still unique in a way and I also cut the color off so it also feels a little bit more modern I would say and then I paired it with these vintage loafers to make it very relaxed and I added this sculptural bag uh, that makes it also a little bit more modern but also focuses on design and adding something that is unique but still very minimal and that's what I wanted to say in the beginning this is a brand that makes less look like it's more because it creates a canvas I think you can compare it with a museum where you have these big spaces with white walls and then you can see the artworks better so Jill Sanders does that with its pieces it creates a canvas and then the unique pieces or the unique details of a look shines or come out more For the third look, I wanted to experiment with layering inspired by Jill Sanders' neck for combining textures and tones in a sophisticated way. And this outfit channels the brand's ability to create depth and interest through simple layered pieces. So I'm wearing this navy sweater vest over a brown long sleeve shirt, both from COS, and I paired it with the same navy wool trousers from the second look. And the combination of the navy and brown tones create a rich earthy palette in my opinion that are both understated and elegant and I think that's the talent of Jill Sanders creating looks that look elegant but 
also very understated like you wouldn't notice them at first glance like you would notice that they are very well thought out and they look very beautiful but not in a way that you have this wow factor and that is a compliment i like those looks that just look effortless so this is my attempt i think it would be even more beautiful if the long sleeves had bell sleeves like if they were a little bit wider and then i paired it with a red bag to make it a little bit more modern and to create some contrast Next up is a fourth look where we dive into the world of monochrome. This outfit is all about playing with shades of brown to create a cohesive yet interesting look. And I'm wearing a fitted button-up that cinches at the waist, giving it a tailored and polished feel. And then these pleated pants add a nice structure and movement to the outfit. Jill Sander is known for making monochrome outfits look anything but boring by using different shades and textures and that's what I aim to do here. And to add a subtle contrast, I've paired this outfit with a dusty blue bag. The blue adds a pop of color without overpowering the look, maintaining that minimalist vibe that Jill Sander is so famous for. And what I love about this outfit is the balance, the fitted button-up highlight the waist giving it a flattering shape, but then it is combined with this very relaxed pants. But because of the pleats, it still looks very elegant and classic. The same with the color, it is a monochrome look, but the shades are slightly different. So it also gives a very relaxed look. Because when I look at outfits from the brand, I always get the feeling that everyone looks very comfortable. Let's move on to look number 5. For this look I tried a similar outfit formula, wearing a monochrome outfit and adding color with the back. And this look is inspired by the sleek and elegant black monochrome outfits from Jill Sanders Fall Winter 2020 collection. And in that collection they embraced timeless minimalist vibes like they did in their earlier collections I would say. And I try to emulate that with this long black dress, which is a very timeless, minimalist piece. But then I try to make it a little bit more modern with the black boots and then a very big tote bag. And this made me think of a recent collection where they also showed a lot of monochrome outfits, focusing on the shoes and bags as a point of interest. And I must admit that this bag is not usually a fashion choice. This is a bag that I usually use for shopping, but I think it is in a way that you wear it that it can be fancy. Like I said, they use their bags mostly as clutches or they wear it like this. And I feel like in this way, it suddenly feels very fancy. But then I wanted to break it up with these boots because I have seen that a lot of looks from Jill Sanders are combined with boots. And that brings me to the last thing that I wanted to say about the brand. And that is that the looks always look very practical, like using big bags, boots. It always looks very comfortable and they often also use very wide silhouettes. And those are all things that I love, but I tend to get a little bit lazy when I get dressed and I wear the same pieces over and over again. So I highly recommend choosing a brand that you love and try to recreate pieces. Or not really recreating, but think why you like a certain look. So let me know if there is a particular brand that you want me to do next. And let me know what your favorite look was and maybe what kind of look you would create if you think about the brand Jill Sander and what kind of pieces you have in your wardrobe and what you would put together to create this vibe without recreating a look. So thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you soon.